Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, holy cow, it is finally time for a product updates video. It has been a minute since I've done one of these, mainly because there have been so so many new releases that we have had to get to. For those of you that are new to my channel, the way that I do things here is I like to go through, I put up five videos a week, and I always go through and I'm doing a ton of first impressions and wear tests and things like that on various makeup, whether it's drugstore, high-end, anything in between, independent brands, it doesn't matter. I like to touch it all, dive in, and really just see what works and what doesn't. However, as many of you are aware, a lot of beauty influencers never circle back to tell you after they've used these products that they first impressioned or that they used or that they did a wear test on. They never circle back to tell you what they ended up thinking at the end of using them several times. And that for me is what this video is. I always love to come back to that beginning spot, tell you guys, look, I used it in this video. This is what I thought then. This is how my opinion has either changed, evolved, stayed the same, how something wore, maybe something I didn't like, so on and so forth. So if that's the kind of video you are into, this is definitely the place for you. We're going to be diving into a ton of things that are new. And again, everything will be linked. I get five links up here, so I will probably link five five things in the eye. But if you don't like using the eye for whatever reason, or you just want to see all the videos in their entirety, I will have all of these products listed down below with their corresponding video underneath of them. That way you can kind of navigate and say, hey, I want to see the eye look she did for this. Click here. Hey, I want to see what she did for this. Click here. That way you can kind of follow through if maybe you missed a video or you don't remember me talking about it. That way you guys have a frame of reference. Now, that being said, diving into today's video is going to be, woo, girl, get yourself some popcorn because I have so many products that it is insane and like normally when it comes to a video like this I will start like tailoring them down and like oh you know I don't have to do that one this is the tailored down version and girl there's a lot so let's go ahead and kick this video off with something that I have had so many questions about in the comments and really just going back to when it was first released and this would be the ABH eye primer now this is something that I was initially very shocked by I actually went ahead and swatched it for you right there very nice bright base the way it sits on the eye very very bright colors really do pop on top of it which is one of the things that people tend to love most about it now you guys have seen me use this several several times on my channel and that's because overall I do really like it I think it does a great job again at really bringing colors forward popping them off the lid and in that sense it is great however there are a couple little things about this that if I could change them I would now the first thing that a lot of people have been mentioning lately is the fact that if you tip this tube over and it's just um, got no lid on it like it's just laying there on your vanity this can kind of spill out it is a very 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 loose consistency now that's something that for me I did notice happening once or twice once I realized it I just started storing it up like this because y'all the lid on this thing was literally this big I lost it within the first 12 seconds of having it open so no thank you goodbye but given that I lost the lid I just started holding it like whatever I leaned it up against I just made sure it was leaned in the upwards direction I didn't have too many issues with it so again it can be annoying if you're not someone that like makes that conscious decision to like hey I want to keep this leaned up it will make a mess it can make a mess and if anything even remotely touches this tube girl you're gonna have a volcano a erupting from the tube so it can be a little messy in that sense now to the pro of that though because it is so thin and so liquidy it is really really rich in opacity a little bit of this goes a long way this is actually the small tube I believe I think this was like the mini $15 tube and I have used it so many times and I swear to you I have barely made a dent in it so a little bit goes a long way which is a great thing to have the only thing about this as far as the way it sits on the lids the consistency aspect of it that I don't love is sometimes for my eyelids this does dry down a little bit too quick it's a little bit too matte and that's me comparing this to something that I use all the time on my lids which is my Tarte Shape Tape in Porcelain Beige I used it today which by the way if you miss this I went through and I played with a ton of new CoverGirl stuff you can watch it I'll link it up there for you guys but anyways I use this one today to prime and prep the lids for my CoverGirl video and after using this one for so long from ABH it was amazing to me how this one was not nearly as matte as this one was on the lid the dry down time was completely different and just everything about it was a very different experience and I know for a lot of us myself included the Tarte Shape Tape is a drier more mattified option to go with and if you don't like that if that's not something you like on your lids you don't like that dry down you probably won't like this because again much much more on the matte side than any other eye primer I have ever used now that being said that 
does give this a really nice staying power on your lids if they are oily. Mine are very oily, so this has worked very well for that. The con is that it dries down. If it dries down and you have creases on your lids at all, the creases dry down very intensely as well. All right, and next up, let's go ahead and dive into some ColourPop. These are their blush and highlight sticks, and today I am actually wearing the shade Cool It, which you probably will have seen in that CoverGirl video if you already watched it. And of course, there is a full video on these as well, which I will go ahead and link up above and down below for you guys. As far as my overall thoughts, now that I've used these quite a few times, I gotta be honest, y'all, I really like these. The formula is really, really nice, and what I like about these the most is that they are a very lightweight kind of buildable feel, and I like that they're not ever too much. They don't ever go on and feel really thick or goopy or um, inconsistent from one to the next. These are all very smooth and their application is very, very nice. Now there are some of the lighter shades, which I don't, I don't see the light one that I'm looking for, but 25.8 is actually a good example of one of the lighter ones that on my skin tone, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love, love the color, love the sheen. I love everything about this, but I do notice that the lighter shades like this one for for my skin do almost absorb into my foundation so if I go in with one of the lighter ones I have to really build it up a couple of times just to make sure that that opacity kind of stands alone or stands against the foundation um, like today for example though I went in with the shade cool it which is this one right here and this shade I don't have that issue with it goes on it has a nice level of opacity to it but it also is just a freckle deeper so as far as the wear on these they wear pretty nicely but for those of you that aren't aware I am on the normal to oily spectrum so I do set my makeup and then I always add a little bit of blush on top so that kind of help extends the wear of these but as far as just being able to see kind of when they start to fade away I would say for normal to oily skin they are probably like a six ish hour wear at least for me they're nothing that stays put again like into the night or anything but they are so beautiful that's one of the appeals for me with these is I love how fresh face they make me look especially this light shade right here the one that kind of absorbs into the skin because it just has this way of giving my skin like this nice nice like juicy kind of apricot look to it where it's like my cheeks but a little glossier and a little bit more flushed but overall you guys I really do like these I know there have kind of been a couple mixed reviews on them but for me I have really really enjoyed them again I think there's a couple things to consider how long they last you know if you have to build up certain shades more than others so on and so forth per usual with a cream product though um but I really do like them another product I'm wearing on my face right now honey damn girl mascara I am wearing this all up on these upper lashes and I have some very very mixed thoughts on this. This is very much so a dramatic voluminous lash in the sense that you're probably going to get that big clumpy almost spidery leg looking situation on your lashes. So if that's not something you like you will want to stay clear. Now for me I typically don't wear false lashes so I don't mind having that little bit of extra volume as long as I can kind of work with it and make it something where it doesn't look too over the top too spidery too like you know I don't like that look. The girl also don't mind a little bit of that chunk coming through every now and again you know what I mean like I'm, I'm a little bit of best of both worlds as long as I can work with it and my only issue with this mascara that I keep having is the gumminess of like the wand and the entire like area around where it goes into the tube right there this wand is just so thick and goopy all the time girl the bristles on this thing are so freaking coated like coated to the point where there's no way that you will be able to get any real individualized lash action with the bristles. It's almost like all the product inside this tube coagulates onto this wand and then the more that you like scrape it off and have to scrape the stuff back into the tube and apply it and scrape it back off and apply it, the more that you have to do that, the more that you are aerating the product and you're getting your like forcing air in there, the more times that you do that, obviously the less amount of time the product will be good for um, until the actual mascara, like the goop itself, will dry out. So I feel like this isn't going to be the longest lasting mascara and even just just along like the outsides of it in the threads here it is coated in product and that's not because I'm messy honey that's because this stuff is very very thick and in charge and it's been like that since the day I opened it um, so I think that this mascara overall has a lot of good qualities to it again if you like that thicker lash look but I think it's also a very very messy mascara so if you want to try this out I do know that there is a trial size of it you can give that a shot but I will tell you if you do not like
like a messy mascara if that bothers you having all that like goopy stuff all over the place you won't like this I can tell you I will promise you that right now um, overall though the packaging of it is beautiful I love the presentation I love that it's something that when I'm holding this I actually feel like I did buy a high-end mascara that part of it is really nice the experience of it let me put it that way is very nice alright so next up let's touch on this guy a little bit this is from Catrice it is their triangle artist contour stick in warm brown I will of course link my video up there and down below the full face of Catrice that literally everyone on my channel has probably watched by now so first things first about this guy that a lot of people are noticing is that the end of it does get a little bit squishy it's a very like like num, 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 num kind of consistency I don't know if that helps anybody else, but it really helps me describe it. Um, this is the type of product where when you touch it like this, for example, as I do this, I can literally feel the weight of it underneath bounce under my finger. And that's just because it is a very soft, very malleable formula when it's in stick form. Um, I personally like that about this because when I go to apply it, it really lets it kind of uh, squish onto the face, but you're never like swiping it on and getting too much, if that makes sense, because it does have like a really nice consistency consistency to it. Now that being said, I do notice when I go to blend this out that it can take a second to really get it and like blend it onto the face. Comparing that to like the Huda Beauty one right here, which I love this one so much. This one literally goes on, blends in like a dream, and it happens like that. But you are also paying literally like what a third or a fourth of the price for this one. Um, it does take a second to blend out, which am I mad at that? No, I actually kind of enjoy it because it is more on the matte side. So once I get it on, I blend it all into the skin. It stays put very nicely. The one from Huda does as well, don't get me wrong. But for this to be a nice drugstore option, the way that it sits on my skin, I just really, really enjoy. Okay, beautiful people. So I have some sprays that we need to talk about. I've got some updates. I have some thoughts and opinions. And here we go. All right. There are, by the way, five sprays here. Woo, doggy. All right. Let's go ahead and start off with this one. This is from... Um, hello. Now, out of all these little devils right here, I'm going to start off with this one from NYX. It is their Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray. I will, of course, link the video up here, down below, wherever I have links at this point. I don't know if there's any up there. Guys, I don't even know what day it is. Don't shoot me. I'm sorry. But this spray wow am I impressed this to me is like you know how there's a natural matte finish like how things look matte technically but they're more on the natural side it doesn't look overly matte that is this spray but in the glowy version I don't know any other way to express it other than that so I hope that that makes sense this is a natural luminous is that such a thing I don't know what I love about it first of all the spray listen oh listen hold on one more time I mean, while we're at it, oh. So yes, the spray is fantastic. I love that about it. The mist is just so nice and light and fine. Um, I really love, too, that this is something you can use for multiple steps in your routine. I have actually done that. The other day I was doing my makeup. I don't think it was on camera, actually, but I was doing my makeup, and I was at the point where I normally wouldn't use a spray, and I was just like, oh my god, my face needs something. It needs a little bit of glow, but I don't want it to be too much. And I went in with this, and it looked so, so beautiful. And I think as someone with normal to oily skin, something like this can be just so vital for when you want to bridge the gap between I don't want something super matte, I don't want it glowy, I just want like more of a natural face. Guys, I just, I really like the formula of this. I love that natural glowy appearance on the skin. I, I'm, I'm here for this, honestly. I, I like this so much more than I thought I would. Wow. Wow. After I'm done talking about this guy, I'm actually going to bring in this little guy right here from ABH. This is their Dewy Set Setting Spray. Well, the reason that I put this little guy right after the one from NYX is actually because of how they sit on my skin, which is my favorite thing about this. So, as I mentioned to you guys, this has more of a natural, luminous, natural, dewy kind of quality to it that I really, really like. And if I were to rank them, I would say this one, probably the most natural dewy, then this guy. It is more dewy. I have other things I'm going to say about it, but in terms of of dewiness I would probably put it right next to it like it's a couple steps over but it's right here and then we would have the Catrice dewy glow setting spray we would have the pixie glow mist right here uh, which you can literally see the oil separate out on like girl she's glowy I really like the way too that this when you spray it onto the skin like if I coat my entire face in it I can literally feel it like sit on top of my skin and then soak in through the layers and just like press them in and just like really kind of go in what is what is this <laughs> like this bear hug I'm giving myself that's what it does to your face it's kind of amazing to watch it just like settle in I really like that about this the smell on it isn't bad it is a little bit too like fake chemical for me um so I don't love that aspect of it but it's nowhere near as bad as like the Huda Beauty like this thing girl 
no not even close it's not that bad I'm just a little sensitive when it comes to sprays and I can really pick out like a chemical undertone so for me I can smell it but it's definitely not that bad it's much more enjoyable than a lot of other ones that I have smelled in the past and overall just as the way it leaves your skin I like it it's not bad and at this point in the video I can literally see my hair deflating and my lips getting more and more all over the face I apologize but girl we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going honey we got more sprays so next up let's talk about this little guy this is the Kylie Jenner setting spray um, I did pick this up right when it released off of her site I've used about this much of it right here so about half the bottle and I have to say it's a pretty nice spray do I think that it does anything crazy no and I think that this one out of all the sprays I'm talking about in this video eh, yeah all the sprays this one to me is the most like even keel the most um, natural non-finish spray. To me, this is that spray that I go in with when I want to press everything together, but I want no finish. I don't want any help being matte. I don't want any help being dewy. I just want to press everything together and use, like, basically, like, give myself, like, a drink of water, but the setting spray version, that is this. I also really, really love the smell of this one. Oh, my God. I think, the, what is that, rose? Oh, girl it smells so freaking nice and it, it can be a little bit overwhelming because i've sprayed it 17 times whoops but guys I love the smell of this so much. So for me, I would buy it again, honestly, just because I love the way it smells. I love the way that it does give me what I'm looking for in terms of pressing my makeup together, but without a finish. I really, really like that. Now, I have seen some people report that they get more of a dewy finish from this. I don't get that so much. Again, like I get almost no finish from it, but just keep that in mind, I guess. Some people pull dewy. Next up, we're going to go ahead and talk about this guy. This is the Smashbox and Hood Witch Photo Finish Crystal Clarity Primer Water woo girl in the scent lavender and sweet orange now when it comes to this which by the way i've used this much of it your girl really enjoys it what can i say um this is a spray for me that i feel like a lot of people are like this is bogus i don't notice it i don't know i don't even know why you use it i can see where people come from with that but for me what i like about this more than anything is that when i spray it on my face i usually go in first of all like touch a silk canvas up in this region and then i'll be like man my skin feels like it needs a little something i'll spray this on just like a little ch -ch -ch all over the skin and what it does is it kind of gives me that little like like that but to the face like it just kind of wakes it up gives it a little hydration gives it a little something to really work with as I go into like primer concealer and all of that it just kind of gives me a little bit I don't know a little something now, this is coming from someone though that does already like the regular Smashbox photo finish primer water I have bought that multiple times um, I would say before you run out and purchase something like this you know and spend like the what is it 25 32 dollars something like that I would say test it out first with a setting spray that you already have now maybe try to make it one that's not like super mattifying or super glowy maybe something that's right in between if you have like a Mario Badescu spray or if you have this one from Kylie um, or even if you have this NYX bear with me I've used this one to prime my skin as well because your girl couldn't find this one for a minute so I used this and it worked the same it gave me that same nice little just like ooh -choo 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 feeling and I really really liked that all right, so next let's talk about this little ditty right here this is the Maybelline lasting fix makeup setting spray up to 16 hour wear with a matte finish y'all dare I say dare I say urban decay all-nighter setting spray vibes I know I know but let me just tell you I have used this multiple times and I even did like a face-to-face -face urban decay over here that one on this side like chest testing and comparing I was so impressed at the way that it held my makeup on the matte finish that I got from it the way that it locked in and it even felt the same as that all-nighter spray if you have ever used urban decay you know that spray it just like and when you when you apply it whew, it feels like Superman is just like clinging to your face like he's like hugging you like I got you girl I got you but he's doing that to like your whole face of makeup this one gave me that same that same hug lock in vibe and I'm here for it it is super affordable and I really really like it now I will say if you are on the normal to dry it is a little like a click little bit more matte than the regular Urban Decay setting spray is so something to keep in mind um, I do think though that even if that's the case I would give it a try this retails for $9.99 so it is less than half the price of a regular Urban Decay all-nighter definitely worth taking a look at seeing what you think and it, just let me know what you think down below if you've tried it cuz girl girl all right, so drifting over from sprays, I want to talk about this little collection right here from Jouer. This was their Tan Lines collection. Of course, full video will be linked down below. Um, I will tell you, first of all, this little blush palette right here, 
gorgeous. Love it. Have worn it so many times. It looks beautiful together by itself, separate on a more natural day. If you want to go super glam, add them together. So for me, this one, I can just tell you right out the gate, I really like this blush duo. I feel like Jouer kills it with these duos. This is the first one I had ever tried. And after trying it, I want to try all of them. So Jouer, you killed it. I really like this. Now moving into this guy right here, I had several questions from you guys. You know, Paige, how did it blend? How did it wear? So on and so forth. And the main concern with a lot of you were these like gummy kind of squishy shades right through there the blue this one and this one and I think my biggest thing with these is that they are gorgeous the consistency is so unique so beautiful and so foiled and just like metallic -y looking on the eyes they are stunning however something that I noticed with these when applying them to the lids which of course you guys know at this point I've done multiple times um, something that I did notice though in the way that they wear is that these are the type of product if you have more texture um, if you're like me you have very hooded eyes maybe they're oily maybe they're just inhospitable in general like mine um, these are shades that they did have a little bit of a difficult time but once I went in with a matte primer like the ABH one and used a little glitter glue underneath of them them, they did stick better. Um, if I went in and I used too much of them and I built them up too far, I could definitely tell because the consistency did kind of gum up on my lids a little bit. But once I worked with them, they were fine. For me, I like this. Again, the presentation of this collection overall was super, super cute. And I was a big fan. Now, next up, I'm going to throw this in here. This is the Rustic Glam Palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Oh, your girl loves this palette so much. Guys, the aesthetic of this, the way that it looks, everything about this palette from on the front, you open it up, the way the shades look, the way it's laid out, like I love this palette so much. My favorite, like when I look at this palette, you guys know I've said this so many times, I love, love purple and orange together. This purple right here that is shimmery and then this matte orange. <gasps> send me to heaven honey because I think I'm already there I love this so much and then you just add in like a dash of this evil eye blue right here this blue let me just you know what? how about I just swatch a couple <laughs> just because I'm obsessed like guys look at these shades when you think rustic glam is this not what you think of oh my god I just I feel like this is a color story quite frankly that like completes my heart and soul and I love a palette like this because looking at it you would think you know a lot of these colors they don't belong like why is this pink here what's going on how does this whole thing mesh together but these are shades that complement each other naturally so well and something that we've seen in other color stories in like the 70s the 60s like we've seen similar arrangements to these before so I think our brain naturally kind of arranges it in a way that's very beautiful but some something different than what we're seeing right now. It's it's familiar, but it's different from right now, if that makes sense. Like, that's kind of how my brain looks at this. It looks at it as something that I've seen before, but only out in the world, in wallpaper, in a couch, in a curtain. Like, I've seen, I've seen the story, but I've never seen it in a palette, and I really, really love that about this. For me, this is actually one of my favorite palettes that Dominique Cosmetics has done to date. And I always appreciate somebody that's seeing something different, that can see a different arrangement or a different story or something, and I just... I love it. I, obviously, can you tell? Can you tell I love it? Girl, I love it. Don't go anywhere. I like you. Stay right here. You stay right here. Now, the last thing I want to update on are these little guys right here. These are the Huda Beauty Neon Palettes, and I did, of course, a full review of these. I will link it down below. And a lot of you guys told me, by the way, in this video, I was the first full review of these palettes, which made me so excited. Um, I did three individual looks, so one with each palette. I went through, did swatches, explanations, all of that, and it was such an awesome video. I was super proud of it. When it was all said and done, the three eye looks came out so, so nice. And I have to say, my thoughts and opinions on on these since doing that video they really haven't changed too much which is different because typically when I do a first impression there's usually at least something different and with these that hasn't happened yet um, my favorite palette out of the three is still the orange palette right here I think this one is the most versatile and for me this is just the palette that is the perfect blend of all three palettes into one it has a presence from each one and I just I don't know I really love the aesthetic of this one so much it's still my favorite it's still the one that to date I have used the most um, the green one is still the one that I I have used the least mainly just because I feel like this is the type of palette that I use to complement another palette because it does have a lot of beautiful like shimmers to it and it gives you a nice shine like look at that they're beautiful they shimmer they glimmer they do what they're supposed to do but the fact of the matter is that with this palette you can't really deepen it up and do something super intense you can't really go in and say look from beginning to end I'm gonna create this crazy deep look this to me is the palette that you look at when you're like hey I want to do a nice light bright whimsical eye 
that is this palette. And then the other palette here, the pink one, I really, really like this. Truth be told, if I could put these two palettes together, this to me would be a beautiful palette because I love these pink and purple mattes that there are all through this little pink palette right here. And I love the way that they look with these shimmers over here. And you guys, that is it. I'm going to keep this outro as short as I can because this has been such a long video. So be sure to let me know your thoughts down below. Do you like these videos still? Are you still digging them? Is there anything that you need to see in my next update video? Be sure to leave all of that down below because I will be looking, honey. I'll be looking, I'll be reading, I'll be replying and commenting and doing all the things. So definitely leave it down down below. Also, don't forget, you can check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. They are both linked down in the description box. And if you haven't done so yet, you can also subscribe and turn on your post notifications for this here YouTube channel because I do upload five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Girl, they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in Northern Michigan. It is early, bright. We talk about all things makeup. We update on makeup and it's just so much fun. So definitely subscribe, turn on your post notifications and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please do not forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. One take. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? I am the guardian of your souls. I am the powerful, the pleasurable, the indestructible Mushu. And during the... Okay. Um, now I do... Okay. Now I have seen some people report... Stop it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm I really I do like the lavender. What can I say? I like lavender. Guys, I like lavender, damn it. Is there a crime in that girl? I like it. But anyways, I use this one today to prime and prep the lids for to uh, Okay. I like I said haven't had that. Maybe some people do. I don't know. Uh okay. Now I have seen some people 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 people.